we're doing now is setting up the uh, total station and making sure that we get it level. Once the station is level, then what we're going to do is connect up all the peripheral equipment that needs to go onto it. Once your unit is level, with the pocket zone, you're going to need to connect up your battery, whether it's an internal battery or an external battery that hangs off the side of the unit. Also, what you're going to need to do is plug in your PC card, if you have a PC card or a data collector card, and it'll have to go into the unit. Even though Pocket Zone collects the data itself, most units won't turn on or won't go past the, the point of actually measuring something unless you have that card installed. So really all the card does is allows the unit to run correctly and, and to gather the information. Okay. Once your unit is, is up and set up, what you're going to need to do is turn, turn the unit on and then go into the setup mode, which happens to zero set the machine. What you're going to have to do is go into that portion of the machine, zero set it. This is if you're shooting the scene with, uh, with the regular data module in it. And that will zero the machine back to a zero degree heading. After that is done, go ahead and shut your unit off. And go ahead and plug in the cables that should come with your unit. In this case, this is a standard cable that will plug into the side of your unit and the side of your total station. It should be connected up to, uh, some units will require an adapter. In this case, we're using a Pocket PC and a pocket PC will require an adapter, adapter that will be plugged into the base of the unit and this will allow the unit to read to with the total station. Now if you're using a recon model, the recon won't require the adapter but will plug directly into the recon unit. Take the end of the plug, it's got two slots on it. You line up those two slots and just plug it in so it's nice and secure. And then at that, with the unit still shut off now, take your pocket PC or your recon unit and plug the unit in so it's nice and tight. Should be ready to go at this point with starting up the reading unit. What you will need to do at this point is turn your unit back on. Don't turn your pocket PC on yet. Wait until your unit charges up and gets past its... Uh, operating modes. Some units, in this case I have a Leica, it has a measure button on it. You will need to press that button to actually get into the measuring mode of the unit. Other units, uh, whatever you have, it's a top con or anything else, make sure you get into the part of the unit to the measuring state, uh, measuring window where you're actually beginning to measure. At this point, go ahead and turn on your unit, your recon or your pocket PC. And under, in your unit, you should have a series of windows to follow through. What we want to do is hit the start button. We are in the start button. Hit the programs button. Scroll down and find pocket zone. Now this should only have to happen the first time. After you've done this the first time, there should be a shortcut in which you can follow through with. Now the first window that comes up is what's called a file name. And you'll have to enter a file name in it by typing on your keyboard or on your uh, or any of your letter recognizers and you'll have to type in some sort of a uh, uh, file name. In this case we're going to push test and we push OK. That names a file for us. Then before we do anything else we need to go into the file button and we need to find the laser device that we're using. And There's a file called laser device. We need to scroll down through the laser device names and choose the driver for the unit we're using. And in this case, I'm using a Leica TPS 1100. So I will choose that and press OK. Now, there may be a very short time period in which takes place of uh, maybe five to 10 seconds between the time that you press that driver and before the next window comes up. What's happening is that the, the driver is attempting to read with the unit and it takes it just a matter of moments so that it does read. The next window that you will have come up is an instrument setting and what it's asking for is a height setting for the unit. 
and we've, we've typed in a, a 5.0 heading. We also need to know if we're going to use a reflector or not and what the reflector height would be. And in this case, I'm going to type in a 4.0 and then hit OK. At this point, the unit should be ready to use. What we need to do is to choose a reference point. So we will pull down a pull down screen or a pull down bar for our symbols and we will look for reference. Across the top of the pocket zone screen there should be several symbols and what we want to do is pick the one that has a point on it or an X or a plus sign if you will. And then that's all we should have to do. Now there's two ways to fire this, this unit off. We can either press the little bullseye button here on the corner, which we'll do now. Give it a chance. Once in a while you may get an error processing point come up. What we may need to do is just go hit the button again and it'll come up. And uh, that, that, that could have been just something that the unit was reading off in the distance. It wasn't picking up the point correctly. And so now we have just picked up our first point. On the screen we have an instrument point set up. We have our reference point which is off in the distance and that's how to fire the button or how to fire the machine. We can also fire the machine by using the base button here without tapping that. And let me reset and get a different shot here. The other way to shoot the, the machine or to get the machine to fire is by hitting this main button here. What we do is press, you'll hear it. And we now have three points into the unit. It just act, it took the shot just by pushing the button. So you either can touch the firing pin up here or touch this and it'll fire as well. Now, once you're done shooting your scene, it is very important to go to the file button and choose the save or save as button, either one. Choose save and what it'll do is it'll save your file into the pocket PC um, uh, explorer area. Diagram into the diagram uh, structure of a uh, file of the pocket PC. The other thing you want to do is go back to the file button and then save the point list. It'll ask you for the name of the point list. Now this doesn't go into your, this is not a diagram. What you're doing is saving a text format of all the shots you've taken in an XYZ format and hit OK and now it will save that to your um, your system and now when you download this information to your computer not only will you have a diagram but you can pull up your text list which will tell you which points you shot and what the coordinates of those points are and then finally when you're done with everything go to file hit exit and you're done and shut off your machine